roll up, like what the business is. Oh, you don't know that my. <laughs> What's good, everybody? And welcome back to another show with August with the Shade. Listen, go ahead and grab your cups, because you already know I'm about to spill the tea, and you know I keep the shade, okay? Today's video is going to be about Jason Lee and Nicki Minaj and his little blog, Hollywood Unlocked. Let's get into it, all right? So today we will be getting our sources from TMZ, because TMZ, um, they did come to Nicki's defense, and they kind of came out with the real story instead of trying to run with a narrative. Now, y'all asking what I'm talking about? Let's get into it, all right? So Jason Lee is just one of those people that just cannot seem to keep Nicki Minaj's name out of his mouth. It is literally a day, I mean, seriously, Every week or every other week There is something going on with Jason Lee Like we are so tired of you always trying to put Nicki Minaj inside of your blog And have some type of negative things to say about her that, that isn't true Now I'm not opposed to you posting truthful things I'm not opposed to anyone talking factual Now if it's your opinion It's still your fact Like it's still whatever you want to feel But for me I just try to stray away from anything like that Because I'm a very very opinionated person myself And I'm also a free thinker So I try to allow others to do the same You know Now I do want to thank TMZ Who I will be reading this, um, this site from I want to thank them for coming out and putting out the real truth because the real truth will set you free, okay? Now, let's get into what really happened, okay? It says, sources say that in the documents, Rosa Arts claims that Nicki Minaj failed to return 66 pieces of jewelry by the agreed upon, you know, the ant line, yeah. Um, it also says that Brett um, finally forked over the bling and there was noticeable damage to the set of earrings and a leaf ring. Now, I'm not, re I'm not remember when Nicki Minaj had this on, but we all know Nicki owns some very, very expensive pieces. So, if you guys understand that when you go to a photo shoot and you have um, fashion designers and you have stylists and all of those things in there right they are bringing you pieces for you to put on so that you can model or whatever whatever so they are trying to make it seem like that Nicki Minaj went out and borrowed the jury no this is for a, mu a music video set Nicki don't need y'all to be like Nicki got plenty of jewelry in her box to make sure that she looks good so if that was for a video shoot please take it up a call array of somebody else don't be bringing that around Nicki Minaj I'm just saying it says um sources close to Nicki tells us everything was returned on time as promised and it was also after items were in the jeweler's possession for some time that the store complained about the missing stone now the jury um store says it sent invoices to brett for the damage which says um totals of 26 and 50 cent plus interest now the folks at rose are claimed that they haven't gotten paid despite the repeated attempts to collect now if you're still trying to collect something that that was never messed up she doesn't owe you anything and this is a false like all of this is not even real that's why you guys gotta go and start reading you gotta start reading they're only doing this because of Nicki minaj's name and there's other sources that actually even state that like these people love to use Nicki minaj's name to take them to the next level even if it's a case even if it's a song even if it's a Y'all love to just use Nikki name to put some type of, you know, leverage on y'all business. Like, y'all need to really get it together and stop with these games. Y'all are men. Y'all are men. Like, stop trying to come down on Nikki. I, I keep telling y'all, if it's an opinion, if it's fact, we just gonna go with that. But if y'all are out here trying to spew out lies about Nikki Minaj, please stop. Like, Jason Lee, you want some type of, like, back and forth with Nikki because you just want her to come up under your blog. You want her to say something to you. You're not gonna get a follow. You're not gonna get any of that. You have played your card, Jason Lee. Stop trying to put Nikki Minaj upon your blog to grow your business. It will not work. Like, I'm so sorry. I, I, I mean, I'm pretty sure that a lot of business folk told you that Nicki Minaj is a great business asset, but it's not for you, okay? Enjoy your little week away over there, okay? That's what you enjoy. And while Nicki Minaj enjoys her husband and her new home, you need to be worried about your business tanking and your show tanking. Don't be worried about over what Nicki Minaj is doing because it has been already dispelled. So I don't want to hear any more of that. Like, don't come upon your blog with Nicki Minaj. Like, please keep Nicki off your blog. And I know I can't tell you that because I'm pretty sure a lot of people probably wouldn't want to be on mine. But I'm just being real. If you don't like Nicki, stay away from her. Block her. Mute her. Don't don't talk about her. Like, there's so many other celebrities that you could have been talking about, but you wanted to you wanted to get a rise out of the barbs. And you wanted to get a rise out of barbs, and you won't go, you won't go get a rise out of me. Honestly, I'm just coming out here to put out the facts because the barbs need it. You know what I'm talking about? And that's just what we're gonna do every single time. Okay, we're gonna throw shade at the duds, and we're gonna continuously keep on bigging up Nicki Minaj because Nicki Minaj is the queen, and not only is she the queen, she's a woman, and she will be protected by us. You know what I'm talking about? So if you don't like it, Jason Lee, fuck me. All right, like the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel, make sure that you leave your comments down below. Also, I wanna know what you think about this jeweler. You think this jeweler's trying to use Nicki Minaj for some type of uh, clickbait or some type of business leverage let's get into it in the comments okay turn your notification bells on yeah i'm out we all got something in common we all retold